What is up you guys, back at you with another video. I'm super excited about this one. I'm finally able to talk about it. I've been working on a project in the background. Um, unsurprisingly, yes, transparent filament again. I promise you, that <laughs> I'm not gonna do just transparent filament prints, but I made a transparent Iron Man helmet and I'm gonna show you why and how it looks. Let's get it. My name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D. If you haven't subscribed, you want more 3D printing content or awesome models like this, uh, hit the sub button down below. Join us. Uh, I think you'll find the content pretty interesting. But yeah, I made a transparent helmet and bam! I have magical powers. No, actually, I have some very simple rudimentary editing skills. <laughs> Here it is. This is what it looks like. I'll show you guys that you'll see in the upper corner a closer look at it. He uh, is not sanded at all, except for where the supports are, so on the top part right here. I only sanded down the supports off. I'm um, actually mad at myself because this helmet turned out so stinking good. I know how to work with tools much better, but yeah, that's it. It's kind of interesting because you'll see it's a lot darker on the top right here. It was printed like a you know bowl going vertically up, but because it kind of isn't layered as tightly, it's still got that weird looking hazy look not as transparent but the rest of it is fairly transparent um not a glass see-through yet no sanding done remember but pretty intriguing results why would i do something like this why am i so i really feel like you can do some really cool stuff with led lights and transparent prints now my rick sanchez print was kind of limit failed so we just painted him but this one seemed intriguing. So this is me with it on. I probably sound all mumbled. You can kind of see me through it maybe, not sure. Um, I can definitely see better out of it, but this wasn't what I was, you know, caring for. I'll show you what I did care for. Here it is. So I actually don't have the room lights turned off. So you guys can see that there's a full blown effect of this guy, even with the lights on. Now, um, it's all trippy with the camera lenses. It, it kind of works different. It looks different than it does to a human eye. But you can see already right here, it looks pretty dang cool. No sanding's done. And I'm not sure if sanding will make it better or worse because I want it to kind of capture and refract, refract that light inside. Now, all that there is is a smart L uh, light bulb in there. I didn't put LED strip lights in there. Just one smart light bulb. And it's a really cool display piece. But the idea behind it was, you know, I see Iron Man helmets, oh, great, that's the color scheme, and I've seen so many alternative cool color schemes. What if I made one that has a dynamic one, and we can change it, and I can make it red if I want it, or green, orange, yellow, and so here it is. Green looks decent, actually, on camera, I'm not going to lie. I like the light blue one that you saw first. The pink one looks pretty cool. Uh, purple looks very legit, I think. I, it just kind of gives me those Avengers feels. And then blue, excellent. But yeah, I could just adjust this sucker and change it to whatever colors I want and make a pretty cool display piece or a lamp. But yeah, and I just I have this, you know, smart lights control over here. So it's kind of useful. But you could use any sort of cheap LED lights for this. It, I freaking love it. I, I think there's so much you can do with this kind of idea logic. And it works different for different models, but this being hollow inside, I think the result is pretty dope. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, let's, so I did, let's do some more tests. Let's try some LED lights, I thought. So all I did, ghetto -ly, just threw some string lights in there. And... I love it. 
I stink and love it. It's got that galaxy look. I put a little fade mode on it. It refracts absolutely beautifully in this helmet. I, I'm so happy I did this. I mean, is this not freaking cool or what? I, so, I, I'm at a loss of words. I, there's so much cool stuff you can do with this. I love it. I, I'm kind of hesitant to sand it, but I got, I, I got to test, you know me, it's hands on. I got to experiment, see if we can do something else. Yeah, it, it looks freaking dope. So then I was thinking, what if like I can wear this and change the lights on me? What kind of effect will it have? Well, let's test it. So here's the effect of it on me. I struck my head like I'm a dang Christmas tree. Now we're testing, so uh, I it refracts differently with my head inside of it. But it kind of gives this cool galaxy effect. Doesn't like completely change the color, but it it's it's all right. Um, I think I should stick to the display piece better. So yeah, this is what I've been up to. It's kind of a wacky, crazy idea, but I don't know, I'm happy with it. I think it turned out awesome. So if all y'all hate it, that's up to y'all. I'm definitely keeping this display piece. I got some even more cool ideas that I can do with this. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Hope you enjoy the video. If you wanna see more awesome 3D printing content or crazy experiments or me being a doofus like a Christmas tree wrapped in lights, hit the sub button down below. Smash thumbs up and I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next experiment.